Hello and welcome back to my video. So today uh, I'm gonna show you how you can install flat packs on your MX Linux installation. So uh, the first thing that you have to do is really darn simple. Just open up your start menu. Or what do you want to call this? Like a little menu. This is whisker menu, I guess, in XSC. It doesn't matter. Just open this up and write MX package installer. Okay, this is the first thing. There we go. So open it up. Write your root password real quick. And this page will just show up to your screen. Now, uh, you're not going to install anything from here because this will install packages from the main repo. Uh, the MX is only repo. It would use the dev packages. And we don't want that. We want to install Flatpaks. So what you have to do is click on this little Flatpaks section. And we'll just warn you a little. Just say close to this. Now, uh, be patient on this part. It's gonna do some synchronization and all that stuff so uh, you have to be a little bit of patient here it's gonna take a little bit of time and as you can see it's finished now uh, you can just straight ahead click and install any type of flat pack you want, but I'm going to show you a really, really important detail that I'm hoping that you listen to this part because this is the most important part of them all. Uh, now, if you see this little top option in this corner, it says for all users. Well, this is a really, really important option because uh, if you select this, uh, once with all users, you should just install everything for all users. Oh, well, it's gonna do it again. Refresh it, and uh, you might ask why would I have to do that? Because when you select all users, let me show you where. What do I mean by this? If I go to my file system, this area would, uh, in, I guess, in the USR, uh, there would be a file called flatpak over here and every single user could reach your flatpak uh, I'm talking about in the computer if you have multiple users uh, a one user can use all of the flatpaks at one and well uh, uh, every user could use this flatpak so if you want to act your system I guess your file pack to be accessible for every single user in your computer uh, then for all users is a lot better option because you don't really have to install in the exact same program for every single users and uh, since flat packs are a little bit uh, heavy on the storage uh, you would have some space freed up so it's really cool about that but if you are the only user in the system uh, I highly recommend uh, using the current user option. Now let it refresh again. Now if you use the current user, then you wouldn't install it into your file system. Okay, it's gonna do some refreshing there. Again, there we go, it's finished. Uh, minimize that. It's gonna install it into your home. Uh, now there will be a hidden section here that you should just open hidden files and it will just install your files into the local section share flatpacks and there has to be a flatpacks here let me search for there it is all your flatpacks will be installed over here now what is the advantage of uh, using local user well uh, in this way you don't have to be a root user to edit your flatpacks and they will be a lot easier to manage because of this. And if you're going to do a hardware set in your system uh, and your home part is in a separate location, your apps will be preserved. So there will be no data loss and your apps will be the exact same position that you were having it. So if you're constantly switching distributions and you have a different uh, 
root partition and home partition, this would be really helpful. And in, in, in MX's case, uh, when you have to update your system, you could use a clean install. In the clean install, there would be a checkbox that uh, will tell you that preserve the home folder. So if you selected that, you, all of your flat packs, all of your flat packs applications, changes that you've done to them, and the flat packs themselves would be preserved by using this option. So yeah, that's why uh, I'm highly recommending you to use the current user here. Always check this option. And if you uh, decided to use the current user, I highly recommend sticking with that because if you're gonna uh, install applications uh, one in a current user and one to another user, uh, they could the things could get really messy. So yeah, just choose one, choose your needs, and move on with it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna install MPV. If you don't know what it is, it's a mu uh, media player. It's like VLC, but a little bit lighter than that. So I'm selected it. As you can see, I searched it and selected it. And I'm gonna click install. You can see the details here. It's gonna install one single package. Click OK. And it's about 24 megabytes. It could be larger uh, if you're going to install your first package. I have a ton of uh, flat packs in my system, so that's why it's smaller. So let's wait for a moment. And it has to show this little pop up, and that means that it's finished. So we can minimize this or close it. And we can write, open up our start menu real quick, and write. MPV and as you can see the program is installed with no problem now uh, even if this is a more straightforward process if you didn't know MPV you wouldn't able to install this program with just looking at uh, programs from here because they're all just plain text uh, so if you want uh, an easier way to figure out which programs that you want to install I highly recommend uh, going to the website called Flathub. So let's do that. I'm using um, DuckDuckGo. You can use which browser, uh, web search engine that you like. So write Flathub. And the first link is the correct one. And here it is. Now there's tons of uh, flat packs over here uh, that you can, like, for example, Spotify. And you can see in the down here, it would show you what it is. Like you have to search for com Spotify client. And if we do that in the th installer, you can see like you're going for it and pod, there it is. As you can see, you can easily find what you are looking for from here. Just just look at the bottom of the application that you want to install and this is a really easy process if you're like to use a website like this it's a lot easier to find what you want it will tell you what it is like color picker for example tells you what it's all about so you're not lost in this whole menu so yeah there's that's how you can install flat packs in your computer with your MX Linux installation so thanks for watching, uh, consider subscribing if you like this content. I'm trying to make newer content uh, every week. So yeah, catch you in the next one.